Here's an update on the COVID-19 situation in Singapore. There are 157 new cases today. They include 20 in the community, comprising 12 Singaporeans or permanent residents and 8 work pass holders. 12 of the community cases are close contacts of earlier patients and had already been placed on quarantine. There are three imported cases as well, all of whom had been on stay-home notice since arriving in Singapore. More details will be announced later tonight. Several malls in Orchard Road, including Lucky Plaza, Plaza Singapura, Iron Orchard and Tank Plaza, as well as Jewel Changi Airport, are among the places visited by COVID-19 patients while they were still infectious. They are among the 20 new locations added to the Health Ministry's list of places visited by patients. MOH in a statement last night said that close contacts have already been notified and that there is no need to avoid these places as they, as they would have been cleaned. 10,000 seniors have received the first batch of the Trace Together token, an alternative to the Trace Together smartphone app used for contact tracing. The tokens were given to vulnerable seniors like those living on their own, have poor family support, are physically frail or don't own or use digital devices. Each token has a battery life of about six to nine months and doesn't need to be charged. Details of subsequent distribution will be shared at a later date. A 34-year-old maid from Myanmar has been arrested for allegedly killing a 95-year-old woman in a landed home in Upper Serangoon. Police said they were alerted to the case at about 1.50pm yesterday. The elderly woman, who was found motionless at the scene, was later pronounced dead by a paramedic. The suspect is expected to be charged in court on Wednesday.